What? Did Messi really say that? The Argentine may no longer be in Paris, but the news about his time at PSG is still being unveiled. And evidently he spared no one, especially the young Portuguese player Vitinha. Let's put this all in context. Yesterday against Borussia Dortmund, Paris Saint-Germain completely dominated the match, with Kylian Mbappe scoring a penalty and Ashraf Hakimi doubling their lead with a superb close-range goal following a lovely sequence with Vitinha. The Portuguese player was named Man of the match and it must be said the 23 year old truly deserved this. He was all over the field yesterday and he almost came close to scoring a beautiful goal as well, unfortunately hitting the post in the 19th minute. The Portuguese player is experiencing a meteoric rise in Luis Enrique's starting 11 and has quickly become an essential part of the Parisian squad. However, his first season with the Reds and Blues was not without its challenges, perhaps due to a certain Lionel Messi. According to information from Le Keep, during a PSG training session in early 2023, the Portuguese player had a minor altercation with the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner. Leo Messi reportedly said to him with seriousness, not only are you weak, but you also hurt me. Messi's remark dealt a heavy blow to Vitinha's confidence. It was total humiliation in front of his teammates. Fortunately, the Portuguese player did receive some support from some of his teammates, including compatriot Danilo Pereira. Without them, his PSG adventure could have ended much sooner. As a reminder, Vitinha was signed from Sporting Lisbon in 2022, one of the first recruitments by Luis Campos, the sporting director of PSG. The midfielder made Messi and Neymar believe that he was one of the more average players signed by Luis Campos, similar to the likes of Fabian Ruiz, Carlos Soler and Hugo Ekatike. Since the departures of Messi and Neymar, it seems that the PSG team spirit has improved, as evidence noted in yesterday's Champions League match. We even saw players like Kylian Mbappe and Usman Dembele making defensive efforts, something that was not seen last season. Seeing Mbappe take on defensive duties in the Champions League wasn't the highlight of Tuesday night, however. No, no, no. The truly crazy highlight came in the Lazio versus Atletico Madrid match. The result of the match quickly favoured the La Liga club after Pablo Barrios had opened the scoring on the 29th minute. However, the Roman club tried to turn the tide, doubled their efforts and ended the game with 19 shots, including 7 on target. As we all know, when Atletico Madrid park the bus, it becomes very difficult to score against them but not this time. In the dying moments of the match, the 94th minute to be precise, remember that number, Lazio had a corner, every player in the box, and following a crazy turn of events, Luis Alberto's cross found Ivan Provedo, the goalkeeper who headed it into the net. The goalkeeper wearing the number 94 shirt, salvaging a point for his team in the 94th minute. And what's even crazier is that this guy was also born in 94. What a coincidence, eh? This is the kind of totally wild scenario that can only happen in the Champions League. Elsewhere, the Champions League is not just being played in Europe, its Asian counterpart is also making headlines thanks to Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo. The Portuguese player didn't score in his team's victory over Persepolis, but he did make a buzzworthy appearance in a video. And for good reason, Fatima, a disabled Iranian artist, gifted him two splendid paintings. And mind you, these are two paintings done with her feet. I can't even draw with my hands, so hats off to you, that is just incredible. Naturally, CR7 was touched and returned the favour by giving her an Al Nasser jersey and a nice hug. It's worth reminding you once again that Ronaldo always takes the time out for his fans. A magical moment that deserves nothing but respect. Okay guys, that's the news for today. I'll be back again tomorrow for more, but in the meantime, take care and as always, football forever.